Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another video of my 75 gallon reef tank. Um, this time around, uh, I just make it a short little video, nothing too long. Um, this is going to be adding of uh, my live sand and uh, some algae in your sump. Um, many types of algae out there. I'm going to be going with uh, the so and so quoted um, spaghetti algae, um, macro algae, and also known as uh, the chato. Uh, before I go ahead and start anything, I want to thank all my subscribers and all my viewers on my channel. Uh, you guys have been more than a great help to me, and I'm sure for a lot of other people who are viewing my channel right now. Um, it's been a great adventure so far, and I hope to continue this adventure more and more with you guys. Um, I've added, uh, so going ahead with the video, um, I've added uh, some live sand in my system. Nothing too much, um, just... Uh, about five pounds or so. Um, I want to thank uh, one particular individual on this. It's uh, John seven one two five two six. I hope I got that right, John. But um, yeah, I just want to give him a little thank. Uh, thank you. Um, you know what? He advised me on getting the live sand. Um, initially, initially, what I had was um, I had my old sand from my my uh, seventy five gallon reef tank, uh, which is what I have. Um, the first uh, system that I had it was about a, two, a month or two months ago, month or two ago. The old sand that I had off my system was placed in a bucket, um, your regular instant, instant ocean bucket. Um, I was hoping that you know what, saving the sand, um, keep it in with some uh, with uh, the salt water, keep it in the bucket f until I have my system started up again. Um, my expected time to have that system started was about two weeks and ended up being two months which I'm perfectly fine with it, it's okay. Uh, one experience that I had was uh, after I popped that bucket open after about a month and a half to two months did not smell pretty good at all. Alright, so it's it stunk, it was horrible. Um, I hate that. Uh, so me and John had a couple dis uh, discussions back and forth and um, he was relating to one of his experience that he had with the old dead sand and um, after he had washed it about 10 times uh, he placed it in his system and what ended up happening was that dead matter no matter how many times you wash it with hot or cold water uh, he had a lot of outbreaks on algae and cyanobacteria um, on a repeated process and uh, he went through the trouble of taking everything out again and putting in proper fresh live sand that wasn't expired. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you guys do even buy live sand from the store there is an expiry date on the bag so please double check if you're buying for us from a small retailer or sometimes even a big retailer they may try to push a sale but uh, ask them what's expiry date on them and check uh, check the bag. Um, what I have here is uh, the, so the salt, uh, sorry not the salt, the sand that I added was uh, Carib Sea, uh, the Ocean Direct um, Full of bacteria, uh, live sand, five uh, five pounds. And when you buy this type of bag here, you do not want to rinse it because obviously you're gonna kill everything in it, and uh, you're gonna shoot it in the garbage pretty much. Um, but what else do I talk about this? Yeah. So, anyways, uh, five pounds for now. I might add another five pounds down the road. Um, not now, maybe about a week or two. It's 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 not too much. It's it gives me a good. I think three quarters of an inch of sand down there. So, um, anywho, according to John's experience, um, he advised me, and you know what? I did a little bit of research, and I did listen to John, and John, bud, thumbs up for you. Thank you. Guys, do check out his channel. He has some great advice. He knows what he's doing, and um, great, great, great guy. Uh, but overall, what I do want to say is... Um, when you guys advise me certain things, I will listen to it, and I will do some research, and I will take your advice. I rather listen to somebody who had a first-hand experience in this rather than read a bloody article that somebody got paid for, um, where there might be an X amount of percentage of truth and X amount of percentage of the corporate sales and the marketing and the sponsors are behind of that. So, again, you guys, I will listen to you guys, and you know what? I'm not a selfish guy. I will advertise your channel on my page, meaning I will give you a little heads up and 
everyone do check out John's uh, site and uh, we'll go from there second person I want to thank is uh, Reefer Gill um, he pretty much advised me to put uh, the macro algae in my system in an early stage meaning from day one um, I'm pretty much about seven days behind I think uh, it's pretty far out but uh, in my system I just want to let you guys know I didn't have any ammonia spikes yet which is kind of odd because my old 20 gallon that I had and my 75 the first time around the ammonia spike was within about four days but uh, I think I'm cruising a little past my seventh day here uh, no diatom blooms no nothing I have been leaving the lights off I haven't leave, uh, left nothing on so maybe it's because of that maybe there's something's happening already uh, I still I have my uh, ammonia test kit at a buddy's house and I just gotta go get it so it's, it sucks I couldn't be test this to give you guys 100% the results on it but I'll do the full uh, three stage test of ammonia nitrites and nitrate and uh, I'll probably do a phosphate too but I'll keep you guys posted on that in my second video um, this time around it's it's only for this uh, the Reef, uh, buddy Reefer Gill again uh, we ran into a couple conversations um, he advised me start the cycle as soon as possible the algae which is right here the macro algae let me just see if I can zoom in so you guys see what it looks like there so a whole bunch of spaghetti strands it feels pretty weird like a wool uh, cotton cleaning brush or something like that the good thing about this type of algae guys it doesn't go asexual maybe it might to a certain percentage but the good thing about this type of algae is the main thing it will absorb your nitrates and phosphates but the best advantage is it doesn't leak it back into the tank there are other algae out there for your sump uh, there are many different types if you google it online uh, reef, uh, reef tank or reef aquarium sump LG, uh, I'm sure you'll get, get a whole bunch of um, information on that, but there are some out there that may absorb more than the macro algae and the ch or the chato. But the problem is, guys, you gotta make sure the light that you have on top of your sump. Focus. Yeah, there we go. The light on top of the sump is on 24 hours, seven days a week, because. What tends to happen sometimes is when the lights are off, that's when some of the algae like to go asexual and they start releasing certain toxins, not poisonous, but releasing um, the, the algae juice inside your system and what happens now is, uh, surprise, surprise, goes into the return pump directly up to your system and guess what, before you know it, your phosphates and your nitrates just took another spike in your system and you have a lot of nauseous algae nonsense or nauseous algae or anyway that green hair algae um, swarming your system um, so that's why I'm gonna stick to my chato for now unless I do lots and lots of research on what other safe algae there is to put in your tank that will not restart reproducing um, some guys like to do that reverse cycle on their sump um, while the daytime they leave their display tanks on they leave the sump lights off and they do that reverse cycle at nighttime. Um, I'm not gonna bother doing that I'm gonna leave this bloody thing on 24 hours 7 days a week I'm gonna make this guy work like a slave I'm gonna make sure he takes everything and anything out of my system as much as possible if I have to get another two handful bunch of uh, chato I will do that but uh, before that the question of the day again to help me and help everybody else out there guys beside the chato what other algae is very beneficial in absorbing a lot of nutrients out of your system why and will it go asexual and reproduce at uh, when the lights are off or not so what type of algae are there that will not release the toxins if the lights are off? Um, advise me. You know what? I will take your advice. I'll do some research and uh, if I agree with it, I will put your name on uh, on here. And uh, I want to thank again John71526 and Reefer Gill.
thanks guys appreciate your honesty and your help and uh, I look forward in continuing my process and uh, your help so thank you very much and I hope to see all the comments below of your experience with Sump LG. Thank you very much. Have a great day, guys.